I'm the voice in the darkness. I'm a message from the future. In the distance, a lighthouse blinks, and me. I just want to get there. The voice is the last thing you hear before someone is gone forever. My name is Fedia. I'm 16 years old and I'm Afghan. Before the Taliban came in Afghanistan, I was happy and we had a good life. But after that, the Taliban was coming there, our life was broken. We had a lot of um, bad things in Afghanistan. We weren't uh, safe. Uh, every day we thought okay, we're gonna die and this unsafety make us to travel and to leave our country. My name is Imran. I'm 24 years old and I'm from Afghanistan. Uh, I'm 22 years old. Uh, I'm from Afghanistan. I love my country. I have problem there with Taliban. For this problem, uh, I try to come to Europe because I can't stay there. I cannot yet believe that I leave my room, my friends and also my country was a bad memory for us. First I start from Afghanistan to Iran. After uh, I try to come to Europe uh, from Turkey, I pay the mafia. 1,000 euro. I come with uh, 45 different people. Inside the sea, you feel uh, die. Because you don't know, you arrive, you do you know arrive, it's like 50-50 your life. It's very dangerous. The smugglers put the people to cross from the Turkey to go to here to Greece. I was with my sister and we pay for it 1200 euros. We were 60% 20 child, but the uh, sea was so bad, the wave was so big, but we don't care about the life. We just want to arrive or die. I travel with my family, with my father, with my mother, with three sisters, my brother, my brother's wife and also two children. We wanted to travel to Italy, but our boat was broken. One woman and also three or four uh, single boys, they was fall down in the water. We was calling for Grace Police, but the Police Grace told us that we cannot help you, we cannot come for you. We was really scared and we was just helping from God. Suddenly, there was a one big ship from Philippines. He appeared in front of us and we was sound that help us, help us, please. So it was hard for us that uh, go to 
big sheep if they wasn't able to take our hands so we was fall down in the ocean to some and also some people lost their life there when I close my eyes came in my mind I remember the, that night that we was in the Mediterranean that our ship was broken and a woman fell down in the water. My brother's wife was uh, crying, the children was crying, my mother was scared. Uh, we wasn't able to eat or drink anything for two nights. The only thing that is in my mind is the bad memories. When a person decide to uh, travel or to migrate from their country, it's a big risk. There are lots of bad things that happen for the girl. When a man see that a woman is alone, they just that think that we should enjoy about him, we should not be care about him, we should use him or her. That's not important for them. It's a bad thing for the woman. I'm ice cream in the middle of the desert. I'm two hands picking out of the water. I'm the one nobody sees. When we arrived to here to Greece, it was at the night. I was with my sister. It was winter and we were so cold. And the police officers drop us out from the uh, office and says tomorrow comes to the register. And we were outside and we don't know where we go, where we live. We didn't have nothing to warm up himself. And we slept outside in this night. My sister always shaving and it was so hard for me. The, all the people there feels that we are like animals. Sometimes I feel faded, alone, because I don't have family here. I miss my family every day, every day, my brothers, my sisters, uh, my mother, my father, every day I miss. But sometimes I feel very bad because uh, I think uh, I'm a bad person because I come far from my family. I repeat in my mind what I do, what I can do here. When we came from camp, they just told me, wait, 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 wait. They didn't do anything with me. We cannot go to school, we cannot learn anything, we cannot uh, go to any city. Or don't have any work to do. It's very hard for us. <coughs> there are some people that they stand about two years, four years. They was waiting for their interview. They was waiting for your uh, their answer, for your decision. But if the Grace Police did not accept them, they had to uh, go to Bosnia or go to Romania again by the forest or again the bad situation. And it's the things that we are worried about that in here. My mother is sick. She's not good about his health because his eye blood pressure is up. She needs also uh, go to doctor. The doctor checked him as well. I don't know what should we do. I'm worried about healthy eye of my mom. In the camp. You don't have uh, nothing there. Uh, it's uh, like a prison. Uh, you don't know what happened. 
you don't have a uh, choice you don't have nothing people have a lot of problems because uh, they need the support they need uh, everything then it's very dangerous maybe some people come uh, take uh, your thing like mobile they take your money because the, the people don't care about you inside the camps look like a jail for refugees I feel that they keep me my life spending what of nothing each country, each camps keep us a lot of time now I'm waiting for more than nine months to only to give me one ID card time and it's important thing that we now we are losing all the all the days, all the, our times. I, I repeat every day in my mind, I'm alone here, I'm young. I need to take care to myself, try to better to my life. I try to push myself to my dreams, to my future, to make a better future. But. Uh, Life is hard. We don't know about our future. What should we do? Where should I study? Who can help us? Who can sponsor us? Will the Grace accept us or no? He will deport us back to Turkey or maybe back to Afghanistan. It's a bad dream for us. When I was in Afghanistan, I was telling for my sisters that I will be like this, I will be like this. But after that we immigrate, I should forget my hopes. I hide them just sitting and wait what will happen for me, for my family, for my future. Being here is being in limbo. Being in limbo is living in memories. Now, I don't know where I am, whether I'm alive, whether I'm dead. I forget when I was happy. I don't understand why they won't let me to continue. They are stealing my life. In Afghanistan, I didn't have any experience about the hard life. Now, in this situation, I understand how to feel a human, how to find your future, and how to fight. I'm gonna standing on my feet. I'm gonna make my future. I'm gonna think to help others. This is my dream. You need to meet your future because you are a person. You need to talk with people. The people know about yourself. The world know about yourself. I want a country that help me, accept me, and sponsor me. I hope that me with my family being in a place that be able to improve our future. My mother telling to me, yes, you can do it. Go, I am with you. I know she don't have any money to help me. Just is back to me. Just he's telling me, you can do it. Go, I'm with you, go. Loving is the best part of the life. With the loving you, you can have everything. You can continue with everything. I have dreams. I need everything like another people. I love all the countries. 
I believe the people. And because of this, we try to say our voice to the other people to show the situation of the refugees. We're gonna be good for each country and we don't come for the bad things, we only come for the good life, for a good future. If we be together, if we take our voice, of course the people one day in the world will listen our sound and will help us. They should think that we are human too. Maybe we was born in a wrong country, but it was not our mistake. Just they should think that we are human too. I want that all the world know about our voice, that we are human and we are in the world. We are felt it, coming and going. Tiny stars blinking. Tiny stars that get lost in the sky. Tiny stars trying to cross the desert. Trying to cross the sea. Trying to find our place in the world.